Jason Garrity does go black and white gate two. Robert Bramford in yellow. That's intriguing in itself because I thought Bramford's been going better than Garrity. Garrity at least has got gate two. As off they go here, and Bramford's made the gate from the outside. More tactical nightmares for Buxton. And Garrity in the black and whites right at the back. So Bramford leads from Greg Blair and Adam Rothel, who, if they've got any sense here, will just shut off Garrity at the back and concede the 3-3. Garrity comes bulldozing through. Takes care of Ruffell, who did well to stay upright. So now can he get past Blair as well? This is more like it from Jason Garrity. A bit disappointing in his first couple of rides. I was looking forward to seeing what he could do here tonight. Now Blair's catching up on Bradford. All happening here in Heat 11. At the moment, by the way, if you're keeping score, it's a 5-2, which we don't see very often. And, uh, well, Bradford's trying to work out how on earth he can try and get Garrity through, but Blair's round the outside. Bradford might be slowing it up for Blair to win it, not for Garrity. Last couple of corners coming up. Bradford holding off Blair on the outside. Garrity might get through on the inside. Oh, my goodness, who's going to get this? It's an 8-1 Buxton. Incredible stuff. Now, Bradford is both looking out for Garrity and showing Blair as wide as he dare in these conditions. And either that is the most incredibly skillful bit of action we've seen in the National League for years, or, although they knew what they were doing,